everyone! In today's tutorial, we are going to crochet the easiest hat ever. Please check out the description box below in the drop down for links to the free pattern and additional information. Now let's get started! For materials, you will need 120 yards of super bulky yarn, an L 8mm crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. Begin by creating a slip knot. Wrap your yarn around your finger. Take the back yarn and put it to the front. And now what is the back yarn? You're going to lift up and pull over your finger and over that other loop. There we've created a slip knot. Then take your hook and insert it into the slip knot and pull your yarn to cinch it down a little bit. Now we're going to chain 27. To chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. There's one, yarn over, pull through, two. Never count this loop on your hook. Once we get to 27 chains, I will meet back up for the next step. Here I have 27 chains. Now we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from hook. The third chain from the hook, you're going to count these V's. So you're going to count one, two, three. This third chain, we're going to half double crochet into. To half double crochet, yarn over, hold that yarn on your hook with your first finger here, insert your hook into the third chain, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Now yarn over and we're going to pull this through all three loops, just like that. So that's a half double crochet. Now in this pattern, this chain at the beginning here, these chain two, does not count as a stitch. So this first stitch is our one. We're now going to half double crochet 25 stitches. So again, half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Continue in this fashion all the way down the chain. At the end of this row, I will meet back up with you. At the end of row one, this is how my work looks. Now we're ready to begin row two. Row two, chain two. Turn your work and now we're going to be crocheting half double crochet back loop only. To do this we're going to be only grabbing the back loop of the work. So as you see right here each stitch creates this V shape. So we have a back loop and the loop closest to us is the front loop. We're going to be yarning over for our half double crochet and insert your hook from the top of the stitch and grab that back loop only just like this. Now of course our normal stitch we grab both like that but just go from the top split them apart and just grab that back loop. We're going to be doing this for each stitch all the way down. This causes the front loop to get pushed forward and this makes a beautiful texture. Once you get to the end of row two, just repeat row two. Chain two, turn, and then half double crochet, back loop only, all the way back. We're going to repeat row two until we have 23 rows. Once I have that, I will meet back up with you and we can finish our hat. Now this is just a quick tip. I have finished my first skein and I need to join the second skein. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a half double crochet and then finish it with this new piece of yarn here. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. You're going to yarn over for your half double crochet, insert your hook into the stitch of course, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have our three loops on our hook and then grab your new yarn and use your hook and grab onto it. Hold that tail from your old skein. See I've got them held together like this. And then I'm just pulling that yarn all the way through those three loops. So there are the two tails and now I just do a simple knot like this and from here 
I work over the tails and then yarn over. And as I grab that back loop, I'm also grabbing those two tails. So it's gonna work like this. And then when you feel like you've done enough, you can either snip the excess or just keep working over it. After 23 rows, this is how your hat should look. Another quick tip, if you lose track of how many rows you have, half double crochet is quite easy to count. So for this particular pattern, you'd go two, four, six, eight, and so on. So between these ribs here, you'll have two rows. For the next step, we're going to take our hat and we're going to just fold it over like this. We're now going to slip stitch all the way up the side here. Now you can do this slip stitch however you feel most comfortable. You can go through both loops here on this stitch and then just grab the stitch on the other side like this or you can grab the back loop only like we've been doing and just grab the stitch on the other side. Then you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through and then through this loop that was on your hook. Once you get to the end, I will meet back up with you and we can finish off the last step. Here I have slip stitched all the way to the end and now I'm just going to turn my work so it looks like this. Now grabbing your scissors, you want to cut your yarn, but we're going to need some so we can cinch up the top of the hat. Now I measure like this just to make sure I have plenty. Once we've done that, I'm going to take the tail, grab it with my hook, and then just pull it through that last loop. Next, I'm going to turn my hat again. Now you can weave in and out around the top of the hat however you like to, but for me, I really found that this method works really well, and it also helps the top of the hat come together really smoothly. So you're going to take your crochet hook, and where the ribbing is like this and it stands up, we're going to take our crochet hook and pass it through that rib. Then you're going to take your yarn, hook it, and pull it all the way through. And again with the next rib. So here's the next rib. Grab your yarn and pull it through. Now, you might think that these huge spaces in between here are a bother, but once we come to the end, I will show you how nicely this is looking. Once you finish weaving your yarn in and out around the top of the hat, you're just going to pull that yarn. And don't pull too hard, especially if it's a natural yarn, because you will break the yarn. So you just want to cinch it close. And as you see, because I used that method where I only looped on the ridges, the hat comes together really smoothly. There's not a whole lot of bunching, and also there's a very small hole, if any, at the top of the hat. So from here, you can just tie it off, and I use my hook because it's just easier. I'm going to loop in, and then loop again, pull that tail all the way through. I also like to open the hat up and grab the tail through that hole and then do some weaving in on the other side. And then this tail on this end, I'm also going to weave in. So there, you can leave your hat just like that, or you can make a pom-pom. I hope you have fun making the easiest hat ever. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!